Today I want to talk about something that I have learnt a lot about in the 20 odd years that I've been in business, and that is how valuable time is. Time is a great resource, you're constantly spending it, we're spending it right now, it's the most valuable thing any of us ever have, and you can't renew it. Once it's gone, it's gone. And in business, from an IT perspective, you have to think about data protection, protecting your business's data. Nearly every business in this room has computers and technology and information and systems that you need to protect and keep running because if you didn't have those things, your business could evaporate quite quickly. Um, so you need to think about your time and that data protection. Um, there's a lot of statistics around data protection. Um, a few things on the slide there. Uh, the, the big thing these days is ransomware. Um, ransomware can infect your computer, encrypt all your files, and basically destroy your business in a heartbeat. And what would you do if that happened to you? And that happens to clients that ring us, well not clients, but new people that ring us and say we've got a problem, what do we do? Uh, if you're lucky, you pay the ransom and you get your files back. Um, but even paying the ransom, who, does anyone know about Bitcoin? How many people have got some Bitcoin at home? Nobody does. How will we get Bitcoin? How do we pay the Bitcoin to these criminals and how do we get our data back quickly? It's all about time and that time is costing you money and destroying your business. So, let's think about the kinds of disasters that can happen. Well, here I am doing my presentation on this laptop and let's think about the sorts of things that could go wrong. Let's think about malware. Let's think about theft. Let's think about uh, flood. We've all had floods, right? Oh, that was supposed to happen. <laughs> so, now we're screwed, right? Now, <laughs> and uh, lucky door prize, congratulations. <laughs> so, what do we do when these disasters happen? How do we cope with the loss of time and the loss of business? Now I've got nothing. My new customers are ringing me. Matt, I need you to sign me up on a plan. I've got to do business to do. We've got some work to do. Oh, I can't. I've got nothing. I'm down. Well, guess what happens? They ring someone else. So what I want to show you today is what you can do if you have a business continuity solution. All right. Now, I'll just grab my... This, I'll salvage the mouse from because that's, uh, that's 20 bucks well spent. And I will show you what we can do. So if you have a business continuity solution, which is this beautiful box right here, you can restore your business in a matter of minutes, or possibly seconds. So, a few clicks of the mouse, And we will spin this up, and we will click this button. This is all good. Now, if you think about the time it would take in your business, uh, if disaster struck you, you'd be on the phone to me or your IT provider, um, if I haven't convinced you yet, uh, and you'd be saying, well, I've just had a disaster. Matt's come into my office and smashed on myself with a baseball bat. What are we going to do? <laughs> and uh, for most businesses, the answer would be, I don't know. Uh, I'll get back to you. Um, in a business continuity system, you can have that spun back up very, very quickly. Not quickly enough for this demo, <laughs> but we'll edit that in post. And you can be back working um, in minutes. Now I'm going to skip to the slide you can't see. Oh, here we go. Look at that. So this is actually a real demo. I actually planned to uh, scam this a bit and go straight into it, but I actually turned the box on at the start of this presentation. Um, this box would normally be backing up uh, all of your systems, and here we go. You might remember that background briefly when you saw it earlier. That is that machine. Except it's not that machine because I have smashed it. <laughs> and then we can open up the PowerPoint. Yes, 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 PowerPoint. And we're back. And so, I don't know if we were timing that, Karen probably was, but we've gone from Hulk smash to crisis averted 
in a minute or two. So business continuity is protecting your data and your systems. Lots of people have backups, but that only generally protects your data. So having your data is one thing, but what about all your business systems? How many people have bought a new computer that they can remember and gone, okay, I'm just gonna stick my USB and put my files on, and oh, and now I need Office, and now I need those templates, and now I need my database, and now I've forgotten the password to log into my CRM, where do I find that? And you spend hours and hours, potentially days, getting your systems back up and running. A business continuity solution protects your systems. As you can see, I'm back in PowerPoint showing you this slide in a couple of minutes. I don't have to reload anything, I don't have to do anything, it's already there. And so people say, but I've already got a backup, I don't need this sort of stuff. Well, the thing about backups is it only protects your data quite often, it doesn't adequately protect your systems. But the thing is, have you tested your backup? Do you actually know it's working? And have you checked to see how long it would take you to restore? Backups are old news for most businesses these days. So every minute of downtime is costing you money, it's costing you clients, it's costing you business. A continuity system for your business will pay for itself for three years if it saves you one day of downtime. And honestly, it's easy every three years to save a day of downtime because things do go wrong. Uh, a quick slide about backup versus business continuity. Um, as you can see, the main thing there is that bottom line, a typical time to restore for a backup solution is hours to days, and a typical solution with this kind of solution is seconds to minutes. Um, now, the other thing I wanted to show you, I'm actually connected to this box, this box is doing all the magic, but, and I'm not allowed to smash this box because the nice people at Datto have loaned it to me. Thank you, James. Um, but uh, if we pretended that uh, this box was also smashed by the lunatic with the, uh, with the baseball bat, uh, what would happen? Apparently nothing, because it's still working. But what will happen shortly is that session will time out. My computer will go, hang on, where's that gone? It's disconnected, it doesn't exist. Um, what are we gonna do? Now, because I don't have really great quality internet here, I'm gonna have to cheat and show you a video of what you would do. Uh, but certainly, I recorded this last night in my office on my quality MBN internet. And with this solution, you can actually do what I just did without even having this box. So I'll just run this video. It's very short. You can see that I'm just logging into the portal. I go to the recovery launch pad. That's the particular machine. And I spin it up and I open it up. And there it is, same machine again. Uh, there's my PowerPoint presentation right where I left it, and we're back up and running again. And so that can actually be connected back to your office in a matter of minutes, and you can have all of it, or connected to your home. Let's say you have a flood, we all experience that. Um, lots of people in business lost their offices, but they had a laptop at home. With a solution like this, we can spin up your infrastructure, and you can be 100% operational minutes later, rather than weeks later, um, where a lot of businesses that I dealt with were nearly bankrupted. That is uh, business continuity. Um, that, and I didn't put the PowerPoint on the laptop, so I can't cheat. <laughs> so basically, uh, that's what I want to demo today, taking uh, a business and protecting it from any kind of disaster, whether it's idiots with baseball bats, whether it's floods, whether it's theft, whether it's ransomware, um, I don't know how many of you have experienced ransomware, but it's on the rise. Um, we see it probably at least a couple of times a month now, where the computer is completely locked down and you just get a message that says, pay up or too bad. And the problem is that the people doing these things are very, very smart. Cryptography is at a stage today where it is unbreakable. Everyone thinks, oh, you know, the NSA can get in or there's always a back door. Uh, there isn't. Proper cryptography is 100% unbreakable and that is what the criminals use to make sure that you have two choices lose all your data close your business and try something new or pay them or have a business continuity system where you just ignore the problem and move on because you're completely protected and safe